Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take a look at how to restore your PC when your registry fixes go wrong. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so today's video we're going to address some of the questions I've been getting on the uh, comment section from different YouTube videos that we've done over the years, and some of you have had problems, maybe if you've tried doing a registry fix, say for instance the AMD driver fix, or doing an NVIDIA refresh, that kind of thing, or just maybe it's a general thing, you've changed the setting, and unfortunately it hasn't worked out for you, and you wanna know how to get back to where you were. Now in most of the videos, I do show how to uninstall, or how to undo the changes that are made, but for those of you that are um, either not up to date, or have missed out on those bits, this is a simple way of doing it, to back up your registry and to create a system restore point. So let's go to the computer now and I'll show you how to do both of those things. Now, first of all, most systems, you need to make sure that your system restore is actually working. So if we go into the search bar and type in system restore, and it should start, come up straight away with create a restore point. So we'll head into there first of all, and in the system properties here, you can check that system protection is on. Uh, if for some reason it's not, if you can just go into configure, and you can turn on or disable your system protection here. Ideally, you want it protected so that you can roll back should anything go wrong, like Windows updates, all those kinds of things. Anyway, so make sure that system protection is turned on. So we're okay there, so we'll click okay. And what you can do is just manually create a restore point. Generally, this will do it it's various times just before an update, a driver update, those kinds of things. But we wanna make one now just before we do any changes to the system. So all we need to do is click on create here. And at this point you can add a notification or some kind of title. So we'll say um, before driver fix, and we'll click on create. And this shouldn't take very long at all. Essentially it's taking a snapshot of your systems registry and a few other system areas. So we'll let this carry on. And there we go, that was done pretty quickly. So now we've got a restore point created successfully. So we can click on close and that is done. So should anything go wrong, we can go into system restore and then revert any changes that we've made. Another method of doing this is to actually just manually back up your registry and either export it to a secondary location or something like that, USB stick, anything like that is a good way of doing it. So in order to do that, all we need to do is type in reg edit and in the registry editor, right click and choose run as administrator. And this is our Windows registry. So all you need to do is to go right to the very top, click on computer and make sure it's highlighted and then file and then export. And now you get to choose where you want to save it to. So I'm gonna do it to the desktop to make it easier to export. And as you can see, it says save as type and it's registration entry. So that's a dot reg file. So we're gonna change Sorry, we're going to add a file name. So we'll call this before driver fix. And we're just gonna hit save. And as you can see, it's creating a file on the desktop now called before driver fix. And you can see it's got the almost like a kind of a Rubik's cube kind of look to the file. This take a little while. So we'll let it carry on and do what it's doing. And there we go, that's all done. So we can close that down. So now we've got our registry file, and as you can see, this one is a relatively large file, so it's just over 350 megabytes. So then you could right click and then do send to. Maybe you could send it to a backup device, or maybe send it to your OneDrive folder, or wherever you want to do. Send it wherever you want to, or you can copy and paste it onto a flash drive or into a separate location. If you've got a secondary hard drive in your machine, you could just copy it over there and then copy it back over when you need to. So. If you've done your changes after, you've made modifications to the registry, and then you need to revert those changes because it hasn't worked or it's caused some kind of instability, all you need to do is again, type in reg edit. And again, we'll open it. Actually, I think we can just open that as it is. Yep, there we go. So in our registry, all we do is click on computer and do file and then do import. And then we have to browse the location. So if you put onto a USB stick, obviously find that. Uh, but for us, we're on our desktop. So we'll click on desktop and there's our file before driver fix, highlight it and then click on open. And this will now import the registry file back to the system. Shouldn't take too long at all. Again, depending on the problems you're having with your computer, it may take slightly longer, but 
This is a, a relatively older PC, it's a Ryzen 1700, so it's not particularly quick. So you may get that pop-up message saying that some of the file entries cannot be done because they're in use. Generally, you'll find this absolutely fine and it will actually put the ones you want in specifically. What you can do if you are just doing a specific part of the registry, you can just choose the individual file folder and do export that way. Again, it's entirely up to you. I choose to do the whole backup. You can actually set this as an automated task uh, using the command line, uh, make up a, a batch file so it does it on a periodic basis. And you can also add attributes as well to that string so you can override any files which may be in use and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, that is a useful way of doing it. Obviously, ideally what you want to do is the actual registry key that you're changing when you're making any modifications to the system is just to take a backup of that specific key or group of keys when you're doing your changes. That way you won't get any of these error messages saying that files are in use because they're ones you're actually changing so it should be absolutely fine. So there we go, there's a couple of options for restoring your system using either system restore or taking a backup of your registry. Hopefully this video has been useful to you. If it has, then don't forget to click on the like button and the subscribe button, all those kinds of things. And if you've got any comments or questions, feel free to stick them in the comments section below. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.